like, then, um, I don't know, this isn't the first time, dude, because, like, even at DOA, I had the hardest time. People used to, like, lag switch me, and I couldn't do anything about it, because back then, it wasn't really an easy way to show people videos or whatever. You record a video. There was YouTube, but it wasn't, like, as accessible as it is now. Well, actually, no, there wasn't YouTube. There was, like, um, but there was, like, Google and shit like that, but there was no YouTube where you could just, like, upload the videos. But now you can, but then again, back then, I didn't even have a camera, so it was, like, whatever. I mean, you can say the matches, but it doesn't show the lag. It just shows it like it was running offline. And, I don't know, it took me the longest time to qualify for WCG for DOA that year because I, I couldn't play online. And even if I could, well, even when I did and was able to, people still, like, lag switch me, so it was, like, whatever. Like, because offline, I was almost untouchable. Like, I had my times where I would, like, lose. I lost to, like, Black Mamba and Offbeat Ninja, but that was it. Like, I didn't really lose to anybody else in that game. And with them, like, we were pretty much, like, almost even in tournaments. Like, it was always me in the finals with either one of them two. Either me winning or one of them winning. But it was never, like, I was never outside of the finals. Okay. But that's, I mean, like, they need to get their shit together as far as online is concerned. I'd rather have, like, offline qualifiers. Before, in the past, WCG had, um, like, last-minute offline qualifiers at, like, a regional. Like, if there's a South Regional, you go to Texas and play in a last-minute qualifier to play against the qualifiers who qualified online. So it was, wasn't that much of a problem. But now, like, I guess WCG, since they lost all their sponsors, and we have, like, Samsung now, they have to just play online and then just fly people out to the Nationals, which is not bad, but still, like, play online is fucking terrible. So that's one of your major beefs is like about online tournaments is not is not good not it safe. It depends on the game and also who's running the tournament. Like two out of three format does not work for a online games. You need to really play first attempt because like there's so much lag and shit that factors into it. It's really hard. I mean honestly, I, I think we should play like first to five, first to ten in offline turns. But since there's a time schedule, you have to play two out of three. But then again, online there isn't like. Every match is played on a daily basis, like are you, on Monday you play this guy, on Tuesday you play that guy. It, it, it's enough time to play a first to ten. And also, like, they need to really stop, like, running tournaments. Like, okay, for WCG, you have to sign online at, like, 9 p.m. That's kind of late for people. Honestly, it should be, like, 6 or 5 or 4 or something when people go out work, not, like, 9 p.m. What if, like, someone's, like, tired of shit? Like me, for some reason, I get really tired around the time, even though I like promote clubs and shit, like on days I have off, I'm just tired, so, I don't know, I don't think we should have like tournaments, tournaments should start in the morning, honestly, like how they do here, but, I don't know, people are like mad lazy when it comes to shit like that, and then, when they're late, you can't get to the referees, because the referee takes like what entire day for them to even see what the hell's going on, and then by that time it's over, you can't do anything about it. And referees need to be there as well. Like they need to be present during the match so they see what's going on. Instead of you telling them, and then it's just hearsay. What someone's saying is someone, you know, you can't really dispute that. Like I can, well, how you know if I'm lying or I'm telling the truth? Right. Or I can like, there's something you could do on 360. I'm not sure you do on PS3, but you can change the time of your time zone to make it seem like somebody was online when they weren't, or wasn't online when they weren't. So you could just be like, yeah, I have this picture that they're saying that they're not online. It is so much like shit that goes against it. Like honestly, it needs to be just be a referee present and like a proper time of day, like 12 p.m. Like honestly, if you're going to be playing tournaments like this, you need to like set time, you know, set time apart for it. You can't just be like, oh well, you know, we we'll just do it this time. No, dude, you have to set time for it. That's why we have events on weekends and shit because you know you can't just do this shit during the week. People actually do. I mean, and it's also not hard to just run a tournament on one day anyway. Right. But, I don't know. Free is good, Blaze Moves good for online because their online is actually good, but like, not Tekken. Virtual Fire is actually good. DOA is decent, but it's not like Virtual Fire. Virtual Fire is probably the best uh, 3D online game. But Tekken is far the worst 3D online game. Okay. Alright, now let's talk about Super Street Fighter 4. Yeah. Uh, well, I just witnessed a tournament where you, you know your main your main character is uh, Akuma, but I just witnessed you playing with Seth. That's a new uh new guy you working with. Well, I've always actually been playing with Seth since Vanilla, but I never was confident enough with him for tournament because uh you know it's health issues. I don't want to get hit and just die. Like I hate that shit. Like just guess who wrong once. That's why I don't know. 
I'm starting to get more comfortable with it now, maybe because there's a big damage reduction overall, but I still don't like it hit once and then just dying. But Seth is fucking fun as shit, like his mix-ups and like, like his corner pressure, like his tandem engine, like block strings and stuff, because you can't like mash DP out of a tandem. Like mm -hmm. you, you have to, you get sucked in. Like there's like a big pause in between where I can still block string you, but you can't do anything. Right. And so he can like build meter really fast. He can, he can do everything. It's just his health. Okay. Yeah. So will you ever like a con ever? If they give him like, like honestly, I don't even need to get the fuck off me. Move. I need a reliable anti air. That's it. Like give me something that like like a roof is like that. And then of course like overhead or cross up, and I'm good. Okay. And uh, you also, your secondary is uh, Cami, right? Right. Um, who has the better uh, counter, uh, counter ultra? Um, Fei Long or Cami? They're both the same. Yeah, but which one's better? I mean, like animation wise? No, just which one's better? Um, they both do the same. Which one would you would, would rather use if you had to pick? Death, not an option. Like for a situation or just for the look factor? Because for the uh, look factor, Fei Long's, but for situation, it's the same thing. Think so? Yeah, I think it's the same shit. Like both of them are the same kind of characters. Um, there's not much else to. <laughs> well, like actually, Cami can probably be more useful with it because she can dive kick and people want to just mash out so they don't have to get hit by stuff. And then you can go into counter and then. Yeah, because I use cannon drill and then go right into it. Yeah. So. That's only if you're like content that they're going to fucking follow up. Because if there's like, I don't know why they did this with counters, but honestly, I think when they do the counter, it shouldn't flash. It should flash and when they get hit. Right. That, that'd be a lot better. Like, Goku's where you just like. Also, like, when you do it, it shouldn't like take away the revenge meter either until it hits. That's what I think, at least. But I don't think it should flash. Or kind of like Vegas, where it's like, you know, he just zips across the screen, you're like, what the hell? And you get fucking need in the face. Yeah. And he and Walter, yeah. Or like uh, Dudley's cross counter. Yeah. Or like that. Because it flashes only when it hits, you know. Yeah. You... Okay. Yeah, I think Capcom messed up on that, too. And Capcom needs to fix Akuma's Ultra 2 only hitting high. I think it's ridiculous. I can hit you with focus attack. And then going to Ultra 2, it just whips over your face. <laughs> I think it's so stupid. Alright. Any uh fighting games that's coming out in the near future you're looking forward to play or or not? Uh I guess I'm looking forward to the new fighting games like Street Fighter vs. Tekken, Tekken vs. Street Fighter. But not really. I wanna play Tekken vs. Street Fighter, not you know well like Namco version because I want another three game. I'm tired of like these fucking you know, like Mario like mm -hmm. you know, atmosphere games. But um I want DOA five. Like, I've been waiting for that shit since 2006. Mm -hmm. When they announced it, that they would, well, when Adagaki, before he left, announced that they would be making it. And then, like, you know, here it is, four years later, 2010, about to go into 11, and we still don't have the game or seen anything for it. Um, I would like a good Dragon Ball Z game, like, to where the mechanics are, like, good. Not like Budokai, where people are like, yeah, man, Budokai, no, dude. No, that's not good enough. You need, I want, like, something that's, like, solid. Okay. Or, like, Revent Tenkachi. No, actually, there is a really good uh, Dragon Ball game. It's called Super DBZ for PlayStation. The game is really good. It's made by, like, some of the Capcom developers. Mm hmm And it's, like, I don't know, it's really, like, detailed and has a lot of depth to it. It's really good. Like, if you watch Japanese videos online, it's really, it's really good. Okay. Here's um, a question. Hmm? All right. Dead or Alive versus Taken or Dead or Alive versus Virtual Fighters? Um, this, honestly, it wouldn't be fair if DOA versus Tekken because Hyper just raped right everybody. <laughs> because he just fights demons for a living. He was raised to do that, and you know, they're just devils, so it's like, whatever. Uh, their live versus Virtual Fighter it would be unfair, too. I mean, like, honestly, story wise, it'd be unfair. Hyper just raped right everybody. But, like, as far as fun factor. I think Virtual Fire versus DOA will work really well because they use the same button layout and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they have a lot, a lot of characters that will be a good match like Jan Lee versus Jackie, Akira versus either Kokoro or Genfu. People will, will probably disagree with Kokoro because it's a girl versus a dude. Um, I would like to see any ninja in the game versus Kage from Virtual Fighter. 
don't know, honestly, it would be it'd be cool either way. Like, it was Tekken Reverse Fighter versus DOA. Okay. Or, like, a cross of all three of them, that would be fun. Okay. Yeah. A cross of a three way, huh? Yeah, three way. Oh, mmm. No man, you had to make it three versus three. Yeah, that'd be fun. I mean, you have Cage, uh, Hayabusa, and uh, have it Tekken. actually, do you and Raven. Better Tekken. Uh, I mean, not Tekken, but tag feature than like any game. Cause like the way they, dude, I don't know if you play the game or not, but like we used to do some fucked up shit in tag. Like I have a combo video online of me just doing like dumb shit, like with Bass and DOA three and Jan Lee, like juggling you across the screen or whatever. Like that, that'd be fun to play. But people probably call it broken. I don't know. I like I like cheap shit. That shit's fun. <laughs> I don't want this game that's like all basic. I mean, if I want something basic, I go play chess or checkers or something. Okay. Actually, checkers, because checkers is basic as hell. Or it's a rock, paper, scissors. I mean, you want balance. It's like <laughs> rock, paper, scissors. Circles and X's. That's all we need. Nothing is better than whatever. I mean, that's what it is, man. I want balance. Really? All right, cool. <laughs> No Marvel vs. Capcom 3 in your future? Oh, yeah. I want, yeah, I want to play it. As long as Magneto's in. If Magneto's not in it, I'm not touching the game. Okay, but Magneto has to be in the yeah, game. Yeah, he has to be in the game. Or I'm not touching it. Just not. Okay, well, let's say he's not in the game, but Silver Surfer's in the game, and he's that it. awesome. I don't want it. Oh, uh, he's crazy. Dude, even Dante's in the game. I'm like, he looks fun, but I want to play with Magneto. Magneto's like, he fucking floats and like flies like this and shit. And he, like, we hit you with him, and he's like, ha, 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 Man, Dante, yeah. man, Marin showed off a 100 hit, 100% combo with Dante. You won't try it at least once. I'll probably try it, but, like, I want to play with Magneto. And Magneto better be top tier. Man, he was top tier in the last three games. So what? He better be top tier. Capcom, I don't care what you say. Magneto better not be in the game. Magneto is, like, the coolest character in the world, dude. He's, like, 158 BC. Oh, matter. gray hair. It does not matter. Because he's like the master magnetism, that's why he's so young. <laughs> Keep that man in the game. Alright, okay, alright. Nah, I'll let you know it. Anything in the, um, besides your career is, and besides your gaming career, um, anything in the near future, like as far as tournaments you're going to? Uh, I'm going to see us bar battles next week. Um, I might go to Michigan Ram at tomorrow. You know, I told Josh I would because he's like, well, I don't want to play casual with you if I have to play you in a tournament. And I'm like, what the hell? What the hell is this shit? 